top Russian general vowed that his country will destroy the NATO military alliance by 2030. Top Russian general Apti Alodinov, commander of Chechen forces fighting in Ukraine and an ally of President Vladimir Putin, has vowed that his country will destroy the NATO military alliance by 2030, according to Newsweek. Alodinov, who was appointed as deputy of the main directorate for military and political work at the Defense Ministry by Putin, made the remarks during a state TV broadcast where he spoke to Olga Skabeeva, co-host of 60 Minutes on channel Rossiya One. An excerpt of his appearance was shared on X by Anton Gerashchenko, a former advisor to Ukraine's Minister of Internal Affairs. Russian officials have regularly floated the possibility that Russia could strike NATO members in response to the aid and weapons they've provided Ukraine in the ongoing war. Apti Olodinov, Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov's closest ally, recently appointed to a position in the Russian Defense Ministry, tells Russian propagandist Skabeeva that Russia will wage a war for the rest of the decade and intends to destroy NATO. Gerashchenko wrote, Russia will win in this special military operation and on all other battlefields. Alodinov told Skabeeva, using the term adopted by the Kremlin to describe the war in Ukraine, which began with Russia's invasion on February the 24th, 2022. Yes, we will have to work hard until 2029 to 2030, but I can assure you that the outcome of this special military operation will be that the NATO bloc will cease to exist in the format in which it exists today, he said. Most of those states who today are running after America like mutts will kneel down and swear an oath to Russia, asking to be accepted into our coalition. Alodinov was named by Russian investigative newspaper Novaya Gazeta as a potential successor to Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov, who is reported to have been diagnosed with necrotizing pancreatitis five years ago. News of the illness of Kadyrov has promoted the Kremlin to look for his successor, the publication reported. An operation was carried out on Thursday to save over 100 whales from a mass stranding at a beach in Western Australia's southwest. The whales were trapped in pods spread across 500 meters at Toby Inlet near Dunsborough, south of Perth. Up to 160 whales had beached themselves at Toby. Some 130 stranded whales were returned to the sea, however, 28 whales died, according to the Department of Parks and Wildlife Service Western Australia DPAW. A spokesperson for DPAW earlier confirmed that there were 20 whales in a pod about 1.5 kilometers offshore. Another pod of about 110 animals were together closer offshore. Ian Wees, chair of Geograph Marine Research Group that was involved in the rescue operation said it was an overwhelming sight. You can see how closely packed together the whales were. I've managed whale strandings before but nothing ever of this size, Wees told CNN. My initial reaction seeing hundreds of whales all bunched together on the beach was just completely and utterly overwhelming. It was really, really chaotic. However, the final result was good news, as often with these events, it is only possible to save a few, he stressed. It should be noted that at least 90 whales died in that stranding in July last year. Marine scientists and animal behaviorists believe that survival rates for beached whales as low as these mammals can only survive for around six hours on land.